Well, it is fitting that we are out here in the darkness on the 1st of October because October is the month of everything scary and spooky. And inside here at the Performing Arts Center on the campus of Bard College, family services from Astor got together to tell scary stories. They brought together some celebrities from the area who live right here in the Hudson Valley. A is for Amy, who fell down the stairs. B is for Basil, assaulted by bears. C is for Claire, who wasted away. D is for Desmond, thrown out of a sleigh. E is for Ernest, who choked on a peach. F is for Fanny, sucked dry by a leech. Hundreds of people came out to hear those spooky stories and to support Astor Services in the process. Anytime you have a group of celebrities giving of their time and talent for our kids and our staff, it really just means a lot for me. I've been with Astor for 34 years, and I don't think I've ever been more excited than I am tonight for this event. The celebrities on hand included Hillary Burton, Jeffrey Dean Morgan, Mary Stuart Masterson, and Griffin Dunn, all residents of the Hudson Valley and all here for the cause. Jeff and I were fortunate enough to meet a group of people that educated us about the organization, about where these kids are living, and we got to go see it firsthand and really are honored that they picked Rhinebeck, New York, of all places in the state, to bring our most special, fragile children. So we want to make sure that those children have the best experience they can have while at Astor House. Do you know what selection you're reading? I will be reading stories written by the kids of Astor House, so I am the luckiest one. Here. <laughs> yeah. He pulled a good card. That yeah, was his yeah. idea. <laughs> I, I went and visited uh, earlier in the week and met a lot of the kids that are, are at and part of Astor House programs and. One of the boys there kind of shoved his story into my hand. He couldn't really speak. He was so excited to meet me and shoved the story in my hand and I read it. And we called the school the next day and asked if we could get a couple more stories, kind of spooky stuff. And, and they were kind enough to write some stories. And so I'm going to read their oh. words tonight. So that'll be fun. I am reading uh, The Specialist Hat, um, a very, uh, complicated but beautifully told kind of spooky kind of creepy story uh, about kids in peril is that uh, what you kind of gravitate to you like that stuff I love kids in peril <laughs> <laughs> Astor is such an important institution in our area and I think oftentimes the work of the heroes who um, are on the sort of front lines of caring for our kids and are, are not overlooked but not given the kind of support that they need by the community and so I think this is a terrific way to just shine a light on them and all that they're doing. You know I'm a, I'm a resident of the Hudson Valley and, and Astor House is, is right near my house. You know quite seriously I, I you know the kids have had a, a, a tough time who have been in real peril and and so whatever I can do to help out Astor House and they're my neighbors and I love kids. And the kids we serve suffer some very difficult times in their life. Trauma, some of them have failed throughout their life and their families have struggled with them. And what we've been doing from the beginning is supporting them, giving them skills, and making sure they have a shot at being successful. And some of the children at Astor had an opportunity to read some scary stories as well. Subway door shut, the train pulled off, leaving the girl alone on the platform with the man in the trench coat. She started screaming for help. All in all, it was a good night for a great cause, made a little bit more special by some very caring local residents. O is for Olive, run through with an all. P is for Prue, trampled flat in a brawl. Q is for Quentin, who sank in a mire. R is for Rhoda, consumed by a fire. I, w I was driving up here and I was thinking, boy, you're re reading ghost stories. How great would it have been if you read them in November after the new season of Walking Dead came out? Because mm -hmm. everybody would be <laughs> frightened of you just to begin with, you know? Well, that's the deal. I think I'm on my, my last leg of people actually liking me. Yeah. So I, I've got about another three you're weeks and people are going to despise me. So He's I'm going to milk this now. Yeah. Y is for York, whose head was bashed in. And Z is for Zila, who drank too much gin. I'd like to thank Gertrude's mom for reading this. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Guess how I learned the alphabet. 